Start by plugging in the soldering iron. Unscrew the XLR connector and slip the outer cover and strain relief down the wire, making sure it's pointed the right way. Strip the outer jacket back about three quarters of an inch, being careful not to nick the conductor wires. Isolate the strands of ground wire and twist them together. Cut off any strings. Strip the red and white conductor wires back about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Next, stretch a piece of solder so it stands up. Then touch the tip of the soldering iron to the end of the wire and touch the solder to the wire. The solder will flow onto the wire. This is called tinning. Secure the connector in a small vise. Touch the soldering iron to the back of the cups to heat them. Once hot, touch the solder to the inside of the cup to fill it with solder. Reheat the pin 2 cup to melt the solder and connect the red wire first. Hold it for a few seconds for the solder to cool. Heat cup 3, rotate the wire around and insert the wire. Do the same for the ground wire. Tug on the wire to check that your solder joints are secure. Insert the connector in the sleeve by aligning the notches to the slots. Insert the strain relief, then screw on the outer cover. Pins 1 and 2 on the female connector are opposite than the male. Other than that, everything's about the same. Once both ends are complete, test the cable. On this tester, we see that pins 1, 2, and 3 are all showing continuity, indicating a good cable.